That's crazy. Thanks to Snapdragon for sponsoring today's video. What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. And a few weeks ago, I was in Maui at the Snapdragon Summit where Qualcomm announced a ton of new stuff. But today we're gonna to be talking about something that's gonna be in a lot of your phones next year. And that's this guy, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. And this thing is nuts. I don't even know if I should have this right now. And as you'd expect, new year, new processor, you're gonna get better performance. We're gonna see increased performance with the CPU, GPU, and now the NPU. And a lot of you probably don't even know what any of those do, but the NPU is a big deal, you guys, because that's where a lot of the on-device AI is gonna happen. And while I was out there, I was able to use a reference device with the new chip inside of it. But before we go head first into like all the cool AI features your phone's gonna get, with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, gaming performance is about to balloon. We are now going to be able to see gaming performance with up to 240 frames per second, which is just, otherworldly like that's like a really high-end pc you're not seeing that with just any computer and we're going to be able to have that kind of power right within our phones not to mention we're also going to be getting ray tracing so games are going to look buttery smooth they're going to be really well lit and realistic it also makes me wonder are we going to see 240 hertz refresh rate come to smartphones soon you know there's like those gaming phones always try to push the needle so i'm i'm hoping it's going to take a while but it's gonna be great. So besides super fast and buttery smooth gaming, AI, like I said, is going to be a big part of this. Now you might be thinking, Judd, what is on-device AI? What does that even mean? Well, currently, if you wanna use AI, you've gotta visit a website, it's in the cloud, uh, you gotta be connected to the internet. But with something like this in your phone, you're gonna be able to access and tap into AI without needing a data connection. And that's a big deal for a couple of reasons. One, that means you'll always have access to it. And two, your data is going to be safe. You don't have to worry about it transmitting any questions or any requests that you may have to the cloud. You know it's all happening on device. And whenever you hear something's happening on device, know that it's a good thing. So that means you can have access to those AI chatbots where you can ask it all kinds of questions, uh, make requests, find out about things. Now you're gonna be able to do that right from your phone and it's gonna be really fast. And you're gonna hear the term generative AI a lot. And what does that mean? Generative AI basically means you can ask the AI to create things like images, videos, there's all kinds of stuff you can ask AI to do. And when it comes to creating images, oh man, this thing is crazy fast. I was able to type in some image requests and as soon as you hit the generate button, images were popping up and I kept tapping the button and new and new and new images kept being created and it's just wild to know that like this is all just done right on the phone now it's also great about generative ai is that it can take the content that you've already got and pretty much expand on it so there's actually this like photo expansion feature that i got to check out where i would just take a photo of like a random thing and you can actually have it zoom out and create the surroundings around that photo. Now, a feature like that would be really cool if you take a picture of something or someone and you just feel like it's too close, you wish that you step back a bit or something. Well, with photo expansion, you're gonna be able to zoom out and the AI is going to generate the borders around you and basically take in the information that is in the frame and expand on it. Now, with AI being able to do things like this, I know there's some concerns out there for folks who wanna know if an image is real or not. And what's great is that Qualcomm is actually being very purposeful with what they're doing. And there's actually going to be metadata that lets you know whether or not an image contains AI or if it's being been generated by AI. And what's nice too is that if an image has been edited by AI and multiple times, you're gonna be able to see this edit history. So you can see every time AI had a hand in creating the content in that image. So it'll take away a lot of the fears of knowing whether or not something is real. And there's even more cool things that the Gen 3 with AI is gonna be able to bring to our cameras. So in the future, we're gonna be able to see night vision, but for video. That is absolutely wild. I got to see a demo of this in person and it's insane, you guys. Now there was this completely black box with two phones, one with the Snapdragon Gen 3, and it's crazy how much you can see with the new chip. It's a little bit on the noisier side, but all of the information is there. And of course, manufacturers can go ahead and tweak the video so that 
it looks a bit cleaner, but this is what it would see straight up right out of the camera with this AI feature built in. And while we're talking about video, another thing that we've only started to see in photos is coming a video and that's object erasing. So if you're taking a video and someone's in your shot and you don't want them to be, AI is gonna get rid of them. And we've seen scenarios of trying to take a really nice photo and you know somebody walks in your shot, you wanna get rid of them, but you really didn't have that option for video. These, there's not much you can change with that. And we're now going to see the ability to do that and your boy can't wait. And I even got to see how AI would take like a blurry photo and turn it into like a nice clean image. That is something I need in my life. I've got kids, you guys and they don't stay still for anything. So if you've ever had that issue where you're trying to take a picture of your kid but they can't sit still for their life and it's just, it would have been perfect but they're just like Phew. and it's a little bit blurry, this should be able to change that and I'm pumped for it. I'm sure you've seen a lot of social media videos where there's somebody cut out with something in the background. Well now there's gonna be a couple of cool features that you're gonna be able to pretty much stamp yourself on. So there's one called Vlogger's View, where you're gonna be able to be in the frame of a video that you're shooting with like the rear camera. So basically what's happening here is you can take advantage of both of your cameras at the same time. So your front facing and your back camera. So if you wanted to show somebody something that's going on around you, but you want yourself to be in the shot as well, it's not only going to just have some picture in picture kind of image of you where they see you see yourself and your background, it's going to actually cut you out and put it on what's being shown with the rear camera. You can now talk in real time while showing yourself and the content you wanna show somebody. I think that's going to look really awesome. And so far from what I've seen, considering this thing is like first gen across the board for a lot of these features, they work surprisingly well. And let's say you don't wanna show off like a realistic background behind you, you can straight up generate whatever you want behind you. So if you wanna say I'm, I'm at a skate park or I'm at a football game, you can completely have AI generate it and stamp you right on top of it. They even showed this other wild feature where if you're looking at your phone and the phone detects another face looking at your screen, it'll make the screen go black. So it's like a built-in privacy mode that's Man, we are in the future. And obviously the performance of the cameras are going to be improved. We're gonna see better HDR. A lot of the quality aspects are going to go up, 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 as well as us getting a lot of these new features. I think Samsung's even working with Qualcomm to take advantage of like the 200 megapixel image sensor to make photos and videos even sharper. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff happening next year. It's a really good time to get excited for Android. While it's definitely going to improve camera and the different media and add AI, there's a lot of connectivity stuff that it's going to bring to the table as well. And in one of my favorite areas, which is sound. So Snapdragon has what they call their sound technology suite with XPan. Uh, and basically what that means is we're going to hear improved audio. We're gonna have access to lossless audio now. And we're also gonna get better connectivity with our Bluetooth earbuds and headphones. And we all know how Bluetooth works. If you got your headphones on and you step away from your phone, you get too far, it starts to cut out a little bit. Well, that's about to be a thing of the past. Now, instead of your earbuds or headphones just cutting out because you're too far, it's going to be able to jump onto your Wi-Fi network and keep the connection going. Now, what that means is now you'll be able to walk into another room or go to another floor in your house or building and still stay connected without cutting out. And while we're on the subject of connectivity, we're also going to be seeing Wi-Fi 7 now available on these devices as well. And Wi-Fi 7 is, it's coming, it's happening right now. If you don't know what Wi-Fi 7 brings to the table, I kind of covered it. I have a link down below in the description for you. So get ready. AI is no longer going to be a thing that you just kind of hear about online. It's coming to your devices and you're gonna have access to it right at your fingertips and it's gonna be great. But that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.